Hi guys, this is Andrew Burgess from NetTuts, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use JS Lint, the JavaScript code quality tool from Douglas Crockford. He made this tool to help you find bugs and bad practices in your JavaScript, and it makes it really easy to just make sure everything's looking good before you um, run your JavaScript. So I've got a little JavaScript going here, nothing too complicated, but it will suit our example. Um, so I paste it in this box here, then I come down here and I'm supposed to choose the options that I want to check uh, my JavaScript against. I'm going to choose the good parts button here, and what this is going to do is it's going to um, tell JSLint to use all the um, best practices that Douglas Crockford recommends in his book, JavaScript the Good Parts. Then I'm going to choose one more thing here, which is assume a browser. This is going to give JSLint knowledge of um, something like document, .get element element by ID and really the whole document object um, just so that it knows that this is meant to be run in a browser and so there's going to be stuff that I haven't really declared in the JavaScript but um, that I can use such as document. Okay that's good let's hit the JS Lint button and here are the errors that we've got. First one here is missing the use strict statement. Okay this isn't too practical just yet because um, no browsers really implement this but what the use strict statement, it's just a little string that you stick right up at the big top of your JavaScript file. And it's going to be kind of like a doc type for your JavaScript, um, just to let the browser know that you're, you want to use a stricter uh, version of JavaScript than just the normal. Okay, next, too many var statements. So what we've got here is a whole bunch of variables um, declared, but um, we're using the var statement over and over. And... Um, it's best just to use it once. This is forces you to put all your JavaScript up at the top of your file, and um, which, or I'm sorry, all your variables up at the top of your JavaScript functions. Um, and see here, even though I've, I'm instantiating the a person variable down here, I can still just declare it up there, and that gives me just a central place to look to see all the variables that this function uses. Okay, next we have a missing semicolon. So always need to end our statements with a semicolon. Next, expecting triple equals and instead sub double equals. Uh, you should always use the triple equal operator when comparing in JavaScript because um, that avoids any type coercion. Another string is not defined. This variable here, we need to make sure that we declare it at the top of our function as well because otherwise um, JavaScript or the browser will just think that's a, another global variable that we forgot to declare. Uh, we already took care of that var statement, and finally, a constructor should start. Constructor name should start with an uppercase letter, and this is just a best practice to remind us to use the new keyword when uh, using a constructor function, because otherwise, these properties that we're putting onto the this, if this is not called with the new object or the new keyword, I'm sorry, the uh, this variable or this keyword will be a um, will be referring to the the global object. Okay, so now this should pass our test here without any problems. And one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this right down at the bottom. There's a little comment. And if I paste this in the top, JavaScript will use this just lets JavaScript know what, or I'm sorry, JS Lint know what settings uh, we chose here. And so this will actually override um, the settings that uh, we choose down there. So that way we don't have to be typing those in each time. All right, and so the only error we've got is two unused variables, which isn't really an error, because uh, you would really end up using these in a real JavaScript application. An object and an element were not used, but that's okay. So um, that is a quick overview of JS Lint. Uh, let me know if you use it, let me know if you like it, and uh, we can talk more in the comments. Thanks.